what is going on everybody, it's Freshman Series here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos. I'm going to get a little preview here of what's going to happen in some of these videos. Uh, Fall Ball should be up before this video is though, but uh, yeah, so this video I've been meaning to edit for, uh, you can see here, three years now. So yeah, it's July 29th, it's almost been three years exactly. Um, this is actually the day of uh, when my practice, my first Fall Ball is going to be. For first fall of practice is going to be that's um, besides the point though so uh, yeah I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit them uh, this is going to be post commentary though so that's a little bit different than like editing something uh, like live com so if I went ahead and did this really quick so you can see all the, all the audio this is very simple uh, I will go in and let's just say you want to hear the intro um, I do have a very simple a very simple process that I use for every single one of my videos um, now if you guys are not familiar with the keyboard shortcut it is uh, the one next to alt, which I believe it's command. I don't know because I have a Windows keyboard, so <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's uh, that and B, and that's the split. That is the number one thing you will forever use. And uh, also uh, command C and command V for copy and paste. I use that a ton. So if I want to come in here and go to like the texture packs, which I did already, I can go ahead and grab like the music and uh, the intro, which I'm now using. I'm not even using. I decided to stop using an outro. So I will copy and paste that. I use the copy and paste for the music because it does get annoying sometimes to do that. So then I can come in here and go like Optifine, and then I could maybe paste the. Well, see here, what I could do is. Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. But then I can get the music into the library, and then yeah, I could do that. But I'm actually not going to. So I'm gonna delete that. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So I do have a bunch of Chuki beats already on my Mac. I've had them. Obviously, I haven't updated them in a couple years, but uh, they still serve their purpose. They're great. Uh, you know background beats so we're gonna go ahead and just throw it like psycho and uh, plug in real quick so you can see here uh, we got one of the files that loaded in actually both of them just did so we go ahead and do this and I lower it since this will be a post com uh, it will be about 25% and let me go ahead and do the other one so grab that and then we can throw that in there as well now I am not by any means a professional editor I've been doing the same Thing. I haven't really, you know, changed my methods up a whole lot. I've been doing the same thing for four years, so I've gotten extremely good at it and I'm very fast at it. So uh, don't feel, you know, bad if you're lost or if you're, you know, you're way better than me and then I look like a complete idiot, which is probably, you know, uh, true. So that's kind of how I do live com. I will do that now for 2K videos and stuff. We're, we're going to get a little bit of taste here with the baseball video. Um, but yeah, you guys kind of saw what I would do for a post com as far as just, you know, throwing that stuff in there. Just a basic idea. Live com, if we go back to what I was doing, which now listen. Let me turn my audio up just a bit. You guys probably hear it in the background. So sometimes I do, get, I say uh, a lot, so I'm going to get rid of that. So go ahead and just get rid of that, and then we just, you know, tune it to, to our liking. I will leave some of them in there so that way it still sounds natural. Um, so then we can go ahead, because I don't really want to show that in the video, so... That real quick, I don't want to see you guys to see what my library of videos is filled with. It's just baseball stuff. It's me, and I don't really want all me out there. So or my friends. So um, if we come in here, continue on. I can get really specific with it because it is a 12 minute video. I want to possibly. Eh, there's no way I can keep it over 10 minutes. Honestly, if I cut out stuff, it's not going to be longer than 10 minutes. And the reason why every YouTuber wants the video over 10 minutes is to get a uh, additional ads in the middle of the video mid, mid roll ads so if you guys didn't know that that's whatever YouTuber wants and especially you know smaller ones like me where you make absolutely no money you definitely need those ads boom and then you know if we cut out like some of the bigger parts like this you just give it to some of the big parts anyway that's not exactly what this video is all about though so let's go straight into Diamond Dynasty I have not touched this file in three years I played this game probably at least three years ago um, and this was the most insane, I'm actually going to post this, the most insane Diamond Dynasty game from MLB The Show 17 you will ever see, man. This was a wild game. It was awesome. It was a, ended up in a walk-off Grand Slam pinch hit by Jake Lamb on, I think, one strike and two balls, something like that. And I don't need these projects anymore. Um, since I'm recording this, I'm just going to go ahead and go, I have a, 
I, I should have gave her this a long time ago. It's literally just the 2K17. I re, I like, I create a new character just to get like my. Um, this was the classic way in 2K17 to get more shots of your player because then you would, you would have his clothes on and stuff. And uh, like when he was talking to the coach. So if you come in here, you can see, yeah, I got my stuff on. So I got screenshots and all that, but obviously. Um, it's we're long past 2k17, but this was a really cool. I still have the video, so I don't actually need this anymore. So I can actually go ahead and delete that. That was from uh, almost three years ago as well. So we can delete that. That will actually save some space. It's just 10 minutes, but I have four intros in this. Um, I have four intros in this project. So if we just go ahead, play that, we lower the music. So these, this is when I was trying to decide on like music for uh, the intro at the time. It's super long. Holy cow, 10 seconds. Me like. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't know. It doesn't. Fit. I was looking for something that fit. That was completely off. Holy cow. Um, so yeah, I can just go ahead and get rid of that as well. I don't need that. So we're good. Uh, Diamond Dynasty. Let's go ahead and edit this thing, man. Let's do it. So first of all, I guess. Uh, all right. Let's start at the beginning here. I got to go ahead and make this a little bigger. I don't know why it's so small. I make it big. Uh, of course, we're 1080 60. Crop is weird. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, I already had the uh, old intro. Let's watch it one time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the old outro. Uh, holy cow. Come in and throw my uh, intro in real quick so you guys can see all the files and stuff I'm working on right now. Uh, we go ahead and just. I gotta get. I gotta trim this one up. It has to be less than like seven seconds, I think, for copyright. So that's about 7.3. Let's go right there. That's plenty. So that's 6.7. We're good. So let's get straight into the editing process. Let's go lower the volume to about, eh, but about 20. So this will be a post comment. It'll be minimized anyway. So veteran, rookie. I was looking for rookie, rookie. Holy cow. Okay. Well, maybe this game wasn't as insane as I thought it was. So I'm not gonna show that part. We're just gonna show the lineup. So we went ahead and picked, I guess, Aaron Sanchez as our pitcher. So I'm just gonna show that in the beginning, and then I'll also show my lineup real quick. So this is the order. That's what it's looking like, and then this is the squad. So I'll show this really quick as well. So the other guy had Michael Brantley. He had Adam Jones. Also had Kyle Seager, uh, McCutcheon. They have a nice pitcher. Not too bad. Uh, some other players I don't know. Eric Hosmer as well. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and just show this. We were in uh, Wrigley Field. They were the Philly Blue Sox. Interesting. Of course, we're the Windy City Dingers, you already know. LB Smith 13. Uh, when Saz playing as a 13 year old. <laughs> Adam Jones first up. So, in this situation, like with 2K. Uh, I would always, for my 2K my league series, I would always show all of my scores unless they're free throws or stuff like that. So I wouldn't, you know, I would cut out everything else unless there was like a wild play by the other team. Then I would show that. Uh, it's like for my career, I did mostly when I commentate. I had to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> but anyway, since it's, this is uh, a little post cam, um, so that was the curveball first pitch of the game. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and show that. So I think these are really quick clips. So first pitch strike so I went ahead and this is when I went I didn't even use analog pitching pitch trail on I wanted that on so I can see where I was going so let's see if we got a strike here high cheddar with the change up <laughs> all right so then we got in the pop-up I might as well just show this uh, we'll just go ahead and get that so first out of the game and then we get since this is just really quick just a GB uh, it's the first base that's first out I guess you know I haven't edited baseball in so long so I don't know how Exactly. Okay, we're already 2-1 here. 3-1. Now the 3-1 pitch. Okay, I gotta show the walk then. So, if anything like, you know, major happens, like a walk. So then 3-1 inside curve. Uh, doesn't go anywhere, so it's gonna end up walking. So I will show that actually before I go anywhere. I gotta make sure I crop this. So hold on, let me just yeah, do this. And then I gotta crop it because for some reason, it, the crop is always weird on this. So I gotta make sure I crop this in. Uh, I do have Final Cut Pro. I definitely got it for educational entertainment purposes only. So AKA free. Um, Alright, so now we should be good. This one was still zoomed out. For, I don't know why those are zoomed out. Why are these zoomed out? Only it only, Apparently it only affects the one. So I gotta re-edit this one. Or actually go in manually and do these, unfortunately. Uh, that's unfortunate. Because I selected all of them and I thought that would work, but apparently not. So now I gotta go back into this one, do that. It's a good thing I caught that before the end, then. Or like before we got too far into it, because that could have been really bad. So <laughs> trying to go in and edit these. 
one by one all the splits and cuts. Holy cow. So just doing this is painful enough. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to talk a little bit while we're going over uh, this stuff. I'm cleaning this up. But like with uh, Madden, what I did with the Madden series, uh, it actually just in Madden 20. I'm not really sure how I edited Madden 17 Ultimate Team. I mean, I kind of know, but when I rewatch those videos, <laughs> it's not my best moments. Uh, but I mean, the, the editing wasn't bad. It's just it's ba I have I do very basic edits. I don't do anything fancy. I throw in a little bit of humor here and there, um, with some you know titles or whatever. I don't do anything too crazy because a I don't really do that. B because my Mac and iMovie just completely get destroyed apparently, and I don't know why because I do have an i5 with 8 gig of RAM, so I would think I could do a video editing, you know, to <laughs> some extent, but apparently I can't. Uh, so, uh, let's see here, we got, oh, okay, base hits on the left side, so I'm right through the gap, and I will just show that so it gets to 2, but anyway, to the Madden videos, and actually we get a double play right here. What pitch was this? And did I not turn 2? Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh, wait, was that three outs? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so now we're up to bat with, who are we up to with, uh, Segura? Segura, too. Wow, I play on Fisheye. Holy cow. Slider inside? Wow. That's surprising. I don't know how I didn't swing at that. I swing at everything, and I still do. How was I taking pitches? Wow. And then I swing at that changeup. Okay. Wait, that was only, okay, so I'm not going to show that since that was only with one strike. This was with two. And I'll go ahead and show this. And the classic MLB The Show lag. That's not going to go anywhere. Griffey. Griffey strikes. I'm not even going to bother showing that. Um, This was a liner? That was gone? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Polanco? With two homers on the year comes up with like that? All right. So let's uh, backtrack this up a little bit. To Polanco, just get a quick snippet at Polanco. Let me come up. Is that first pitch? No, second pitch. One strike. No. Okay, I've had my 1 1. 1 1. The wind up. He threw it right over the heart of the plate. And we took him deep, so. That's nice. Polanco. Ooh, ooh, we got that one. Okay. Uh, 2 1, change up. Nothing going. Actually, full count. Because it made we made it that deep in the count. I will go ahead and show that. Now back to what I was talking about in Madden. Uh, for the, those, what I did was I showed. Well, I f figured out a process in the end where what I did for those was I just showed everything uh, on like third down and stuff. Maybe a first down if it was big. If it was a big play like over ten yards, I would show it. If not, I would only show third downs. And then if there was like absolutely nothing on the drive, I would actually skip a couple drives at times. Very rare though. I usually showed every third down. For the most part, or fourth down since I went for it so many times. So we're backing it right here, and that is McCutcheon, and we just couldn't quite grab that one in the right field. And now he actually uh, uh, singles, left that one over the heart of the plate, and that will be a yeah single for him. And uh, now we go ahead and just trim that stuff up. So if there's a little bit of excess, you know, we just don't even need to show the throw at that point. So and he stole wow he got an easy jump so this was what who troy i don't even know how to, who he is so um he had a really good jump let's see oh yeah he and i threw a curve too that is the worst situation <laughs> the only way to combat that like well i mean usually when i try to steal i always get thrown out like i still play mlb the show some my, 17 by myself sometimes and i mean i don't play online since i don't have anything is it strike out no okay so that's a foul ball. Now it's 2 2. Curve inside. I was really leaving those hanging. However, we did get the curve on him here. So we're actually already a minute and a half in this, but that's okay. Uh, wow, sinker over the middle. <laughs> and what is this? Was this just a wild pitch? Oh, my freaking catcher dropped it. He stayed at 3. Okay. Smart play by uh, LB Smith. And this is going to be a, a uh, sack fly. So he has. Is this a sink? I don't even know. All right, so that's gonna be a sack fly, right? Yeah, <laughs> not even close. Now his pitcher's up. Don't even need to show it, really, as long as he doesn't get a hit. He almost did. All right, so I'll just show this just because it's the last out of the inning. Um, we get to zoom through right here. So now we got uh, Rendon, who's 
Wasn't a beast as much as he is now at the time. Oof. It's an ugly looking swing. It's not at all like it is now. 0-2 stayed in the count, and then we struck out. They don't even need to show that. Uh, wait, wait, is this Grandal? Did I see that right? I'm so confused. Is that Yasmin Grandal? I don't know. That's a base hit, though, so I will show it. Oh my, he almost threw me out. He almost threw me out. That was nuts. Wow, that was close. So now we got. Oh, we got JD Martinez coming in. Man, my lineup was kind of stacked. Ooh, that would have been clean if that got down. A little bit more fair. And then the slider, the strikeout. So. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes, the slider. And now Gary Sanchez is up. I guess I was staying down in the zone. I was looking for a uh, fastball down or something. Oh, is it because he was throwing, uh, I think he was throwing breaking balls down. And that was a fastball down, and I completely missed it. It was 80, was that 87? Oh, 97, okay. There it was, there it was! Wow, I actually had a decent approach. Because, I guess when I was starting to play the game, I had, I didn't, I didn't have an approach, and then apparently here I did have an approach to the plate. And then, I guess somewhere between 2018 and 2020, didn't have an approach, and then I started playing a little more, I'm just playing franchise by myself, but... Sat down in the zone. Gary Sanchez goes yard. Gary Sanchez two run shot to left field. Zion's gonna be a game time decision versus the Jazz for the opener for the NBA. Fake bunchies. I might as well. Say, oh, oh, that would have been close. Okay, I'll show this because it's you know fun. So why not? Uh, all right, so he singled off here and uh, <laughs> all right, what does he got going on? Ooh, change up. We got him early on that. Alright, so we don't really care about that out. He stole again? Oh my gosh. That's with 10 steel. But 71 speed. That was a low fastball. Did he? Yeah. Terrible throw. I think I have Grandal behind the plate. I don't know. My, wow. And he ties it up. He tied it up, man. That's a big that's a big homer. That was Perez, okay. Pitcher's kinda getting getting uh, destroyed right now, but I guess then again my pitching uh, wasn't very good either. <laughs> Alright, two outs. Two out single. I'll show it. Ew. Wait, what? Cutching up to bat. Terrible jump. Okay. <laughs> With 72 speed. Alright, that's whatever. I guess I needed to use a slide step. I didn't even know you could use, like... LB or whatever it is to do a slice up. Ch why am I throwing a change up up? I don't know why am I throwing a change up, man. Alright, so we went ahead and got the out here, so I'll show this. Uh, what do we got to the plate now? We got. Oh, we got Seagulls. So it's top of the order. And we're just swing. Okay, then we're going to take a change up down the middle. Griffey. And no point in even showing this if we can just strike out every single time. Okay, okay, because that makes sense, and then this makes sense. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll just show it for fun. Um, okay, another single. He first first pitch. He's getting on top of uh, everything. That's curve too. Left that right in the gap. That's nice. And it's a should have been a stand up double if he didn't slide. And change up up actually got him. Wow. And this one. Is this Seager? Yeah, it's Seager. Why did my first baseman jump 30 feet in the air? That's going to be a RBI single. Actually, RBI triple. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one, this this looks like it gets hectic a little bit here. He, he sacked Bunny, man. And here's my... Actually, did I get him? Oh, I did. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. He tried throwing down the... I don't know who, who bunts in MLB The Show. Like... I fake bunt. I will never actually bunt because bunting sucks in MLB. Like it just does not work. Maybe, maybe every now and then in real life I'll lay down a bunt just because I'm in a slump and I'm terrible sometimes. But all right, so we don't really care about that. Now there's two outs. So if we show that last out, that's all we really need. But is that fair? That is okay. That's definitely worth showing so we can see there. All right. So that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wait. 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 Did we get it? 
No. Okay. Fair enough. They scored again. So, 5 3. And then a jam shot. Foul territory, first base side. I will go ahead and show that now. So, let's just back this up just a wee bit. That's Perez again. Now we're back up. And there's absolutely nothing good to show for like the rest of the game <laughs> until the ninth inning. Because I strike out every time. So, what I might do here is just show strikeout after strikeout because that is kind of funny. So, okay, so we just wait for the third miss. Okay, what is that pitch? <laughs> two seamer. A two seamer in 98. What are you throwing? Is, is that my seeing that right? Is that 98? Or is that 96? A two-seamer at 98, but he's throwing a four-seamer at 97. And that's a two-seamer out. That's just a, that's a wild two-seamer at 98. Yo, let's watch this. Woo! <laughs> he's riding the baseball, man. <laughs> that was a line-out, so I'm not going to show that one. We have somebody going in the bullpen. We got Ken Giles and Carl Edwards. So I'll show that a little bit of the bullpen going. Now let's move along here. Do we fan anybody, man? Ah, oh, I strike somebody out. What do you know? I'm going to go ahead and show that since it's a little bit of revenge curve. Fly out. Nothing here. Did we get him? Jeez. 3-2. Got to show the 3-2. Full count pitch. And curveball down the middle. Left it hanging. <laughs> I, I really like throwing the curveball apparently. Probably because I couldn't hit him myself. I never had enough patience to sit on him. Not like I can do that in real life either. I'm just... Although the last time I faced a curveball last year, oh, whoa! What was this movement? What was this movement? Look at this. In. Wait, I guess when you slow down, it's not as bad. Full speed. It looks kind of weird the way it comes out of his hand and it just like slides inside. As a righty, I don't understand that, but okay. So here's another strikeout. So JD Martinez completely misses, swings right through it. So now we got Gary Sanchez back up at the bottom earlier, but I got okay. I moved my view to strike zone. We were back up with the pitcher. Why? Why was I doing this? So <laughs> I'll show the bunt. Um, let's go. Okay, we don't really care about that. We don't have any new pitchers, and we did have a shift on, I guess, on Seager. The CPU had a shift on, so we could do that. And curve. Wait, 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 wait. He swung at this. <laughs> I'll show that. All right, four seamer up, slider in, got him. End of the inning. I will go ahead and. We're in still in strike zone view, so this is not going to be the prettiest thing. I'm not even going to show these because these look. I know some people do use this. I just don't like it. So Griffey pops up, pop up, pop up, and what's the third out? A strike out. Let's see. No, he actually got walked. What are the chances I can actually got walked? You know how rare that is? Alright, so we got the walk. And now, I guess I almost stole. Oh, it's a pitch out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, buddy. But here's a wild pitch, so I'll show this. And then, did we get to three? No, okay, the pitcher went up and got it. So now with two runners on, they walked me and get. Wow, I had the patience. Although it's a 3 0. So I guess I uh, didn't, you know, have the green light, I guess. So now, Rendon ends the inning with a two out ground out. And if we continue on, there is terrible defense. And it's just a single, so I'll show it. I'll pretty much just show all the hits, I guess. Do we get him? Oh my gosh. How many times did this guy steal on me? Oh my goodness. So that's a very quick two second clip. This will probably be close to a 10 minute video. We'll see. Of course, 10 minutes is the fame number. And do we get him at three? Wait. If I tag the. Oh, it wasn't a force out. Okay. Alright, we got him. Do we get one? We get two? No. Although he's trying to run it two. And okay, wow. Wow. <laughs> ah, it's a circus on there, so 
I just preloaded too, I guess. He actually was trying to steal right there as well. This guy really likes stealing. Dude, how many times is this guy going to steal on base? And why was I... It's always on a breaking ball. He just seems to know when I'm throwing the breaking ball. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I did throw a lot of curves. I did throw a lot of off-speed. We're going to the bullpen. Wait, was he going to the bullpen? No, he was going to the bullpen. He brings out Hunter Strickland, I guess. No. Benoit, I guess is his name. So we'll show that. That was a that was a rocket. But that was caught by Adam Jones. So I'll just show that because it was a absolute uh, <laughs> rope. So <laughs> change the view here, and then guess what? <laughs> Swing and a miss. This time two same was 95. Although I actually had somebody different, so that makes sense. So in this situation as well, I'm showing actually a lot more than maybe your typical MLB YouTuber would, or maybe if I would, if I was playing just. Uh, you know, multiple Diamond Dynasty games because this is just one, and it's actually you know a solid game. There's a good amount of stuff to show. I mean, you could get rid of a lot of like the, you know the basic plays like this because you know it's routine stuff, but still, uh, you can still show that. I will just go, actually go ahead and show this as well. Mine as well. And it was a splitter up and in that got me. Segura gets a single, beats it out infield single. Griffey's up to bat now, and actually stole second, 84 speed on Segura. Full count. <laughs> Wait, oh, it was a full count walk. So let's see, yeah, the ball was outside, and then I stole third. Wow. Why is this. Okay, when you're setting up at three, I don't know why Seager's like this and why MLB had him like this, but most of the times in that situation, as long as your foot is not over the line, you can have that back foot over the base. So you could be kind of straddling the base, and then, like, if we just back this up ever so slightly. So the throw is decent. All right, it's a little high though. So you want that obviously to be lower. I'm just gonna do a little mid, mid um, editing video baseball session. So obviously that's a little bit high. But if he's back a little bit, he can. Because now look, he has to turn and then slide. That's just way too easy. So I mean, most I think most people would do this anyway, but I don't know why he doesn't have that other foot in this on the back. Now, when you're when you're at first, I actually used to set up like this because sometimes umps would just like uh, they didn't like it if you straddled the base. So you can see here at first, if you just full screen this, he's actually going to be set up the same way he was at third. Now I don't know exactly the rule at first, but I believe when it's like a tag play like that at third, I'm pretty sure you can straddle the base. Um, so, yeah, we get, oh, we got a single here, that's very nice, advancing the runners, that's a really nice hit from Polanco, that was balling out, man, and then we grounded out here on a, was this JD Martinez, oh, Derek Jeter throw right there, got him, so that's the inning, but, um, we're gonna go ahead and throw in Ken Giles, the pitcher made a play here, so I'll just show that, time of the ninth inning already, we still got about seven minutes left to edit, uh, this was the, whew. He just missed that one. Squared it up though a little bit. And with two outs, are we going to get him here? Yeah, we did. So I'll show this. This is the last out. Now, like I was saying earlier, I, you know, if I was editing multiple videos and I didn't want this to be 10 minutes, I would definitely shorten the amount of clips I would show. Um, like for 2K videos, I, you know, when I show every score, it does take up a fair amount of time. Now, if I don't score much, then there isn't a lot to it. And also, uh, something besides that, if we, as we come into this ending, I'm just going to go show this once he brings in his pitcher, who is Robert uh, Osuno to come in. And now we get Anthony Rendon up, but unlike with 2K videos, which obviously is the main thing on my channel, um, I did what helped a lot making the videos longer and the gameplay didn't always do it It was showing trades scheduling stuff like that after or before and I uh, maybe simming games that helped out a lot and also having an outro as an extra 20 seconds You could make it shorter, but I made I always had mine at 20 seconds because you had to like make a preset to like make it shorter I don't even care about outros anymore. I don't think nobody even watches my videos all the way through so um, The watch times like an average of like two minutes <laughs> So Rendon here strikes out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I've, I've watched this multiple times in the past three years. I've just watched it on my computer. I have the file right here, and it's literally been sitting in this exact spot right there for three years. So I've edited all of them, like hundreds of 2K videos, and this has just been chilling there. Never got to edit. I mean, I was going to edit it August, but I was like, this is just too, just too special of a game. And I completely just didn't edit it. So now 
Uh, we get... Uh, who comes up now? Oh, we got a single from... Oh, Scooter Jeanette. That's who it is. Scooter Jeanette comes up. He gets a nice single. Oh, right up the middle. So we don't even know, don't even know, uh, don't even need to show it through. Oh, here's JD Martinez. So I don't know who the other Martinez was. Now this is a nice hit from JD. Yeah, it's actually my first and last initial, but we're not gonna talk about that. So now Gary Sanchez comes up, and Sanchez, we advance the runners here on an errant throw, and he actually throws a first. I'm not sure what he was doing there, but if you just skip to that. And now Sanchez is going to... Is he going to get out? No, he walks. Okay, so this is where the time comes. So it's a one-out walk-off Grand Slam. So there's the walk by Gary Sanchez. And now Ken Giles would be up, but we're going to go ahead and throw in the pinch hitter. So I'll just go ahead and show the part where I pick Jake Lamb. It was, it was between Sano, uh, Cabrera, Cabrera, excuse me, and Jake Lamb. He had 97 power versus a righty. We were going up against a righty. So, Jake Lamb it is. And Jake Lamb, first pitch. Yard! You already know, baby! Walk off, Granny. Apo Taco. See you later. GG's. We're going to make this a 10 minute video as well to get that mid roll ad in. I guess I showed a quick re recap of the video. So, um, I don't know what this was about. I showed a highlight. And then I guess I wanted, just wanted to see the homer. Lamb homer to left. Four RBIs. Boom. Rolling the wrist is so broken in this game. Swings are broken in this game. But, yeah. So, player of the game becomes Jake Lamb since he hit the uh, homer. But, uh, definitely, I think Polanco is probably the player of the game since he did have those two nice hits. But, yes. Yeah, so we get 10 minutes on the video. We are good to go. And that's pretty much it. So, it's 11 minutes. Uh, I can actually even shorten this. Like, if I got rid of this, I'd still be... Well, I guess it wouldn't be fine, but I could probably maybe shorten this a little bit. So if you just see your triple, we just fast-forward a little bit. Fulmer's reached on the choice. I don't know why it shows MLB, like, in between every the videos. What you can do is you can shorten a lot of the stuff, not show the routine plays, and just show, like, homers and, you know, strikeouts, different stuff like that. Like, actually, you know, good strikeouts. Or if you're Toke, you just show... All your personal strikeouts. <laughs> no, but uh, Toke's my favorite. Definitely my favorite uh, MLB YouTuber. And actually, that's the only person I ever watched for MLB because I don't really watch MLB The Show content. But uh, this, of course, was MLB The Show 17. So, uh, really fun game. You guys are going to see this up on the channel very soon. Got to do post-com over it. So, at this point, then, I will actually go ahead and throw my music. So, let's grab two beats And then we can go ahead and snap maybe ASAP. I use my... I usually have the same set of go-to beats. So, if we could find... Where's the launch? We got launch. I mean, make sure I have ASAP. Like I said, it's all up to you and how much you want to show per the game. I just want to show you guys how I edit my videos, and I want to, you know, show you on this, you know, fun video, which I haven't, you know, played MLB in a long time. It's been five, no, four years, three years. I don't know since MLB was on the channel. Um, so, like I was saying earlier, uh, actually, very early in the video, it was the the audio for me. I used 25. I finally found the right mix when I was. Uh, first doing editing and stuff with the sound, the sound was way off. I always had music way too I still have it sometimes. Sometimes iMovie glitches it uh, where you do post-com and you still have, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to have, if you go to volume, it's going to lower the volume of the clips on a post-com. So post-com would be here and then you would do it. Obviously I'm recording right now so I can't do that. But uh, So then yeah, you add your music in. I put it in at 25% with the post-com. It usually lowers it and then that's good enough. Uh, to the point where you can still hear it, but it's not too, too loud. Now, on a normal video, if we go to, say, install texture packs, you will see here, it is at 3%. 3% is what you want that at. Uh, you can go a little bit higher, a little bit lower. just depends on how loud you want it to be. I think 3% is the happy medium uh, for stuff like that. So if we just go ahead and grab some of these, throw them in there. Uh, you can definitely shorten these, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm just showing you what I do. Um, now, if I was editing a ton of videos, which I tend to do a lot since I schedule a lot, of, I schedule actually I schedule all my videos, but uh, a lot of times I will edit four to five videos at a time. So at this point, then I would go ahead, uh, repeat, rinse and repeat this process. If I was doing multiple MLB the Show videos, I would go ahead and just grab these. Depending um, if I wanted the same music, I'd just copy that and then paste that. I would also grab the intro since it is already uh, trimmed a little bit normally. Since I'm just starting to use this intro, I've had my old one, uh, which I was already like at the perfect length. So 
Uh, you can just, if you want to make that uh, perfect length, just make a new uh, project, and you can do that. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, this is how I edit my videos. This was just a very kind of a detailed way I think of, you know, what I do, which doesn't even need to be detailed. But, uh, I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff you can do in iMovie, but there's a lot of stuff you can't do. Uh, if you guys are going to check this video out, make sure you check out uh, the best iPhone editing app, because CapCut for your phone is insane. There are transitions. There are amazing things in there. If you go back to Dime Dynasty, you can see the transitions. Or, yeah, you can see the transitions are very basic. And Cross Zoom is by far the best one. By far the best one. <laughs> Cross Blur is also my favorite one. Uh, in the old My Career series, when I used to spend time editing, I would throw cross dissolves in every single one. But hard cuts are really the style now. Uh, I did cross dissolve because Chris moved it, so that's kind of like a yeah. I guess it's just a dissolve fade type thing, fade to black. I also used to do sometimes. Um, so if I go to FMS real quick, my file folder, uh, you will see uh, what do we got. So we have my old intros, outro. We also have my auto tunes <laughs> so what I do is I'd, I'd actually uh, this is you know I wouldn't do it now but I would have this auto tune I throw that in there time it up with like the basket or whatever it would be and special music as well so I had like uh, beginning music sometimes I throw that in special so we have this classic and then for showcase I did this for 2k news all the time so that way you knew like it was me as your staple guy the exact same song every single time I had one of these three songs or I'd use both you guys can hear that a little bit this one's probably my favorite one <laughs> and then these the dope I just call them dope but these one these these beats are really nice really nice these are cheeky beats as well so I use these for dunks and then same with like throwing down a lob obviously for 2k stuff so I time it up with like bum bum and then right there I you know have the thing so pretty simple alley-oop that song was kind of terrible so, so then I started using dope this was beats by Nevs I got that from IMAV when I used to watch him back in like 2015 clutch song was actually it made sense fumble song I used to do this in Madden oh my gosh touchdown song Holy cow. Homer for Robert of the show. And here's this this interception song is actually really clean. It actually made sense. Ankle breaker. Got oh, so classic. Uh not even gonna show those ones, but uh, yeah, anyway, dunks as well. Really uh, you know, attacking hard beats. So anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, I'm just trying to learn Final Cut Pro with, you know, educational purposes only. Uh, <laughs> actually, I did record a video on how to get it for educational purposes only and uh, for free. And, uh, yeah, so I didn't actually end up doing it. I was going to post it, but I didn't want to get a copyright strike because I actually got a copyright strike for something else that I put out for free. Um, the video on that. So, yeah, I said logic. I don't really mess with that too much, but I just have them because it makes me look fake. With Final Cut Pro, uh, the one thing I just, the one reason why, the main reason why I didn't transfer over was because I like how the layout is for the projects. That's kind of it, honestly. That's the only reason why. Uh, and I was just so used to this. And I know for me, in my editing, I do very basic stuff, but my videos are still high quality because it's, you know, it's good 1080p, 60 FPS. Then, you know, there's decent commentary, there's music, there's, you know, all sorts of good stuff. There's, there's good good content actually being played or whatever's going on there's good stuff going on for the most part uh, audio files I used to do this a long time ago. I was gonna talk about this really briefly so sound effects are used to be so there are tons of sound effects you can use some of them like you can use for videos people use all the time um, I know there's some that people use this is creepy I didn't know there's a sound effect for this oh my gosh <laughs> I don't want to get them monetized <laughs> What is going on? I didn't know this stuff was in here, man. I haven't used this crap in like ever. So bottle bottle cork was actually really cool when I liked. I used to use some of these in my old old pixel gun videos. Yes, they're still on my channel. If you want to absolutely have a blast laughing, you can do that. Um, how embarrassing those videos are. I need to take those down. But so for some reason, titles just don't work for me. Like they work, but then my Mac just I get the spinny logo. And then eventually they do work, so that's why I don't really do them too often. Now, I don't know how they work quite exactly in Final Cut Pro for me, but and obviously, like I said, the transitions are very limited. Backgrounds are okay. Um, 
Now, if you guys want to do green screen, I could show you guys real quick how you do that, picture in picture as well. I could just really fast teach you that. Uh, if not, you just go leave the video. Obviously, you probably left the video already. But anyway, um, you know there are different, you know, simple type things you can do as far as color correction. There's not a lot. Uh, I don't really, you know, mess around with that too much because most of the time the basic stuff is fine. So just went ahead and drag my intro on top of what I was doing. So if I just want to get rid of the audio real quick, we can go ahead and just make the opacity a little less. So this you can actually just kind of have it blend in. So it's still it's actual absolutely on top of it, but it's. Uh, just less so cut away green blue screen so now I don't know what's oh so now this will actually happen it's actually kind of cool and that sense so you can kind of mess around with that if you wanted to split screen as well which is kind of nice picture in picture so you just kind of throw this wherever you want so this is how you do face cam you would just throw this here so if I had like my phone doing something and then I you know recorded the audio and the screen and then I had my phone and then I would you know import the file and then I'd put that in later now then you can also do a cut out now the problem with iMovie is you can't do two like layers on top of each other so you, this would be your only layer unfortunately so a way to get around that if you wanted to have like a special like thing for your uh, face cam or whatever so if you go ahead and just go to picture in picture what you would do is uh, you would do this all by itself on top of like a template you have on another video and then you would export that and then it should be like transparent or whatever and then you could throw that on top of your actual video and then you have to sync up the audio or the video whatever the lips all that stuff so uh, you know that takes a lot of work so uh, sometimes it's better just to be able to you know have multiple layers to be able to do which I believe you can do in Final Cut Pro so um, yeah anyway dissolve there's all sorts of you know basic stuff you do actually you can do a border um, so I, you can actually change the color too so if we want to go ahead and go to white you can change a little bit of the border but it's nothing you know you can't I don't think you can do text or anything like that uh, I can reset that but I mean, nothing too too fancy with that but anyway I thought I'd just show you that really quick so this is basically an iMovie tutorial that's <laughs> uh, what it ended up being but I just want to show you guys how I edit my videos and why not anything better than you know editing a three-year-old video so hope <laughs> you guys did enjoy I'll see you on the next one peace